hello and welcome back to this channel once again now in today's lesson we are going to solve some more problems on series and parallel capacitor combinations in this lesson we are going to solve three questions in all so let's try to solve these questions one after the other so the first question we are being asked to find the equivalent capacitance seen at the terminals of the circuits below we want to find the equivalent capacitance of this particular circuit so how do you solve this now in the previous lesson we got to understand that for two capacitors in series so assuming that we have two capacitors in series then we say that the equivalent capacitance is given by c1 times c2 or divided by c1 plus c2 and then also for two capacitors in parallel then the equivalent capacitance is given by the sum of the two capacitors involved so this is for the series combination and that's for the parallel combination so that is going to help us to solve this particular problem now looking at this terminal or looking through this terminal you realize that these two capacitors are connected in parallel because they are connected at the same two nodes so they are connected in parallel and then also you realize that 60 microfarad and then 120 microfarad are also connected end to end which means that they are connected in series so let's try to resolve these two combinations so first of all we call the first combination that is the parallel combination of 50 and then 70 microfarads as c1 and that is basically going to be 50 plus 70 because they are connected in parallel so we have 50 plus 70 and that is equal to 120 so 120 microfarads that is for c1 and then for the second combination c2 that is basically 60 in series with 120 so we are going to use this formula and that's going to be 60 times 120 or divided by 60 plus 120 now 60 times 120 that is going to give us 7200 divided by this becomes 180 and then 180 goes into 7200 40 times so that is basically equal to 40 microfarads now let's try to redraw this circuit so we have the two terminals here we want to look through this terminal so we have the first combination the parallel combination that is 120 microfarads and then in this branch we have the 20 microfarads here so this is 20 microfarads and then also we have the second combination that is a series combination so that is 40 microfarads so 40 microfarads now for this circuit you realize that the 20 microfarads is in parallel with the 40 microfarads so we are going to find the parallel combination so let's call that c3 and that is basically equal to parallel we are adding the two capacitances so that's basically going to be 20 plus 40 and that is equal to 60 microfarads so that is 60 microfarads and that will be in series with this 120 microfarads so we can say that the equivalent capacitance is basically equal to 120 in series with 60 for series combination that is basically going to be 120 times 60 divided by 120 plus 60 and this is going to give us 40 microfarads so therefore the equivalent capacitance seen between the two terminals is said to be 40 microfarads now let's move on to the next question 
Now to the second question, we want to find the equivalent capacitance seen at the terminals of this particular circuit. So like we did in the previous question, let's also solve this together. So we want to find the equivalent capacitance seen between the terminals AB. From this circuit, you realize that 4 microfarads and then 12 microfarads are connected in series. Therefore, assuming that we want C1 to be the equivalent capacitance, then because they are connected in series, we say that we are going to have 4 times 12 divided by 4 plus 12. And this is equal to, now 4 times 12 is 48, 4 plus 12, that is 16. 16 goes into 48 three times. So we have C1 to be 3 microfarads. That is 3 microfarads. Now, this 3 microfarads, which will be at this position, will be in parallel with this 3 microfarads. So we call that C2. And because they are connected in parallel, this 3 and then this 3, we say that we are going to add them. So that's 3 plus 3, that's equal to 6 microfarads. Now, let's redraw the circuit. So here we have the two terminals A, B, and then we have this 5 microfarads. We have these two, and then also we have this 6, and then we have this six here that we have solved for so this is five this is two this is six and this is also six so you realize that this and then that six six are in series so if you call that c3 then c3 is equal to we are going to have six times six divided by 6 plus 6, 6 times 6, 36, 6 plus 6 is 12, 12 goes into 36, 3 times, so that's 3 microfarads, so this 3 microfarads, the combination here, will be in parallel with the 2 microfarads, so let's call that C4, parallel means we are going to add the 2 values, so we are going to have 2 plus 3, so 2 plus 3, that is simply 5 microfarads. Now, 5 microfarads, let me write it for 5 microfarads. And this 5 microfarads will be in series with this 5, okay? Will be in series with this 5. So we can say that the equivalent capacitance will be equal to, because 5 is in series with 5, it means that we are going to have 5 times 5 divided by 5 plus 5 okay so this is going to be 25 divided by 10 and this is nothing but 2.5 micro parts so you can see that the equivalent capacitance seen between the two terminals a b is said to be 2.5 micro parts now to the last and final question, we want to find the equivalent capacitance seen between these two terminals. Now to solve this problem, like we have done in the previous two problems, these two capacitances are connected in parallel because they are connected at the same two nodes. So we can see that we have C1, which is the equivalent capacitance of these two capacitances and that is basically going to be 80 plus 40 remember that because they are in parallel we are going to add them so that's 120 okay so that is the first parallel combination now again looking at the circuit you realize that here we have 30 20 and then 10 now these three capacitances are connected at the same two nodes okay so it means that these three are also in parallel and so for that matter what we are going to do is we call their equivalent as c2 
and thus we are going to add these three values so that's going to be 30 plus 20 plus 10 and this is basically going to be 16. so at this point we can redraw the circuit we can redraw the circuit so we are going to have something like this these are the two terminals a b we have this to be 12 and then this also to be 12 and then here we have the combination c1 to be 120 so that's 120 here and then here we have diagonally we have 50 and then the second combination that is c2 so that's 60 we have that here and then also we have this last 60 here now let's continue with the rest of the solution these two capacitors are connected end to end so they are connected in series and their equivalence is going to be in parallel with this 50. so let's say we have c3 that is the series combination of these two capacitors so that's basically going to be 60 times 60 divided by 60 plus 60. 6 times 6 is 36 so we have two zeros so 3600 zero, divided by 120 and basically this is going to give us 0 cancels out 0 here we have 12 into 36 that is 3 and then we have 0 so basically that's going to be 30 so c3 is 30 now this 30 will be in parallel with this 50 so we call that c4 and then we have 30 plus 50 because they are in parallel that will be equal to 80 so again we can redraw we can redraw the circuit we have the two terminals a b here we have 12 and then we also have 12 here and then also we are going to have 120 120 here and then the combination that is 80 we have 80 okay so let's move on so at this point you can combine these two they are in series so let's call that c5 series we have 120 times 80 divided by 120 plus 80 now when you compute this you are going to have 48 so that is c5 and basically that is the combination the series combination of these two capacitors now this combination will be in parallel with the 12 so we call that c6 so parallel with 12 we have 12 plus 48 and that's equal to 60. so lastly we are going to have the equivalent circuit to be like this we have 12 in series with 60. therefore we have c equivalent because they are in series is going to be 12 times 60 divided by 12 plus 60 and basically this is going to be 10 so assuming that we select or we choose a unit that is microfarads then we say that the equivalent capacitance seen between the two terminals is said to be 10 microfarads